The film you are about to see represents Freaking.com. It is likely you have often witnessed or been invited to witness the uh, one moment, one moment. Uh, Winston will continue. Winston will continue. Oh, yeah, we are invited to witness the presentations of centralized government power in the form of martial parades or aviation aviationistic displays. You may have noticed or read of their costly drills, maneuvers, and seizures of land for the purpose of effecting the same. But when was the last occasion upon which you were privileged or perhaps annoyed to endure such spectacles comprised of non-taxing voluntary associations of private bodies or of uh, or of neighborhoods aimed at uh, at achieving the cap the capability of a truly local defense uh, you have not seen it in New Hampshire because if it were endeavored while under federal rule uh, there would be a generally hysterical uh, reception, a, uh, a Washington investigation, and uh, probably a swallowing of its organizers into the steel boxes of the local uh, prison outpost. Uh, there are, um, it is true, individuals and organizations that way we may view as, uh, as questionable, who have endeavored to uh, team with others for martial and often overhyped purposes. There are also uh, heroic and impressive private organizations uh, such as that of Mr. Perot, who rescued from the Iranian revolutionary terror his captured employees, while the federal administration found itself flummoxed and bloodied in the liberation of its own. When was, uh, when was the last time uh, an American militia uh, dropped a, a civilian maiming bomb in anger every quarter hour or ran a gulag of torture chambers uh, around the planet as America's once respectable uh, government and military has done? I uh, do not believe my quote is quite exact, but if I recall, uh, the old lion whose accoutrements I mimic uh, once said that uh, torture and cannibalism were the only expedients that the, the Christian nations were able to deny themselves uh, during the First World War. Uh, but that means that they denied themselves these things. They don't deny themselves these things now. Anyway, when was the last time one, uh, a private militia in the United States, uh, the last time one committed any act of horror whatsoever against our population or any other? Surely the date would fall within the last hundred years. But in this contest, the private solution is hardly competing with innocence. The benefits of private defense organization and its opening to competitive allowance uh, may be pronounced. How would any potential foe facing a decentralized collection of uh, defense organizations and characters ever find a decisive head to sever so I should have had this ever, oh, what is it, uh, not off, uh, or pressure, or pressure, uh, head, head, head uh, to uh, the, the sever or pressure. How would it be found? And how would, uh, how would this state ever, uh, ever develop as Washington is developed, a cruel and globe-trotting death machine uh, such as the world, uh, perhaps soon the whole planetary system uh, now endures? Again, the agency of defense 
and the right of associations, along with those of martial possession, could be re-established in a small free nation. Providing without taxpayer bankrollment an additional deterrent against mischief. Freaking, freaking, <laughs> no. dot com isn't freaking dot com. Do I even need to tell you what it's about if I'm singing such an awesome song? Freaking dot com. <laughs>